Hi everyone, welcome back, or hi if you are new. My name is Brooke, I'm a radiologic technologist who graduated in May of 2021. I work at a pediatric hospital and now I am in my second semester of an ultrasound program. In today's video, I am gonna take you with me on how I decided to get into ultrasound school because it can be very competitive and also very confusing and there's not a lot out there on how to get into these programs. So when I was in high school, I was trying to plan my life out and figure out what I wanted to do um, after high school. And I knew I wanted to go to the community college near me because they had a two years scholarship where I wouldn't have to pay anything besides books and fees so I knew I really wanted to do that. They however did not have an ultrasound program but they did have x-ray so I decided to go into x-ray ended up falling in love with it and I tell you guys that every day I love what I do it is an amazing career path to get into if you want to check out my other videos I talk about that as well so I passed x-ray school sat for my registry, passed my boards, and now I am an um, RTR, a Registered Radiologic Technologist. So that was super fun. And then that was in May. I was accepted into a sonography program that began in August. So I only had a couple months off. Found this ultrasound program specifically because a few of the graduates in the class before me decided to go into ultrasound school. And I didn't know much about ultrasound, and a lot of people think it's just about scanning babies. However, you scan pretty much the entire body head to toe. So that is something to um, to learn. <laughs> you also do uh, some procedures. So a couple classmates above me in my x-ray class graduated and went to this certificate program. And I wanted to know more, so I would reach out to them and ask. So with this certificate program, am I is this program accredited? Am I allowed to sit for the boards because you have to be registered to work as a sonographer? And they said yes, so I reached out to the professor and the director of the program and asked her all kinds of questions. There was another community college near me that had an associate's program, but you don't get any pay difference. No matter if you have a certificate in associates or you got your bachelor's in sonography, the only difference is if you get your bachelor's, you can one day be in charge of the department. You can be like a supervisor role. I know that that is not for me. That's not what I wanted. So I decided to do the certificate program. Luckily, my prerequisites that I used in x-ray and the classes I took in x-ray covered my sonography program so that I could start in August and graduate of October the next year. It's exactly 14 months. It's rather fast paced, but it works for me and I really do love it and I've learned so much already in six months. The other paths you can take is you can go down the associates path. Um, they typically have a longer waiting list. You have to get all of your prerequisites done, typically. Some programs will allow you to do your prerequisites during the program. I think that's a little bit harder. I think you should try to get some of the prereqs out of the way before you apply, but personal preference. And then some programs are point-based and some just do an interview process. So the interview process, I have not actually had to go through. Both of my programs went off GPA and um, the amount of A's you had, that was the amount of points you got and that is the most points got into the program for those slots. Sonography is super, super challenging to get into, very competitive. Um, I knew I couldn't get in if I didn't have all A's. Same thing with x-ray, they only took 40 students for x-ray and then for sonography they only ended up taking 15. Right now we are down to, I believe, 8 of us because they don't joke around when they tell you they will terminate you from the program if you fail a class. Same thing with x-ray and ultrasound. Either way, they are going to terminate you if you do not pass and then you lost all of your money, you have to reapply then retake the class and see if you can finish the program. They're rather difficult, but I think they are so, so worth it. You come out making a decent living, you love what you do. So what I recommend for choosing the path you wanna take is I want you to Google the accreditations of the schools near you, 
or like I said, you can do the x-ray path and then go into ultrasound. Completely up to you. A lot of people I know that have gone through this program did x-ray and then ultrasound. Nothing wrong with that. It just kind of helps you build a background and with patient care and a little bit of physics if you do x-ray first. So that is exactly what I did. So I want you to look around for some schools near you. Typically it is a community college, which is the route I recommend. I am going to be graduating. I graduated x-ray school, only paying about three grand because I had scholarships because it was community college. And then I'm going to pay a little around four or 5,000 for a sonography program uh, because of uh, scholarships again. So it is a very, cheap alternative compared to going to get your bachelor's where you are going to have student debt for a very long time but if that's the route you want to take by all means uh, that's why they're out there for everyone and it gives you some options so once you find the school you would like to go to and you can reach out to the director uh, that's what i did i went to their website and i found all of their contact information and i just asked questions and they don't mind that they would rather you um, ask questions and find information out because it shows how much you want to do it and how much you care. Sometimes they have open houses so you can go meet the teachers, past students, stuff like that. I also recommend before you get into a program or before you apply that you shadow at a hospital near you or an outpatient center just so you can have a rough idea what sonography really is. Once you have applied, it typically takes a few months to uh, hear back because they have you apply typically a semester in advance sometimes too it just depends on the school and i do not want you to be discouraged if you do not hear back from them immediately or if you are denied denial is going to happen i was denied the very first time i uh, applied for x-ray school but i got in on the second try and it only ended up being a year later, so it's, it didn't make a big difference. I had all my prerequisites done anyway, so I didn't even have a semester off. It worked out perfectly. If you do not get into ultrasound the first time, please do not be discouraged, and please continue to apply because it truly is amazing, and almost everyone in the sonography field has been, not been denied at least once to get in just because it's so competitive. So it is very normal, and it needs to be more normalized that you might not get in on the first try, and that it's completely okay. Typically with the associates or the certificate programs, you do clinicals, and coursework at the same time. Some of these bachelor programs, you learn everything in the first two years and then you do clinicals for two years and then you're completely ready to sit for your boards. However, I am doing that all at once, which is the way that I prefer because that's how x-ray school was and it went just fine. There are multiple registries that you have to sit for with sonography. There is your SPI, which is your physics boards. You have to pass this one first before you take any of the other ones. Abdomen, which is the one that I plan on taking as soon as I can after I take my SPI. OBGYN, vascular, internal fetal medicine, there is echo. This helps answer some questions that I've been getting recently about how to apply for ultrasound or x-ray because it goes vice versa. You're going to have to wait sometimes. You might be denied. That is completely normal. And yeah, so I hope this was super helpful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. Give this video a like and a follow along to be a part of the radiology family. Bye.